am Dr. Ayodele Hibakar, and I'm the head of the Digital Technology Development Division at the National Information Technology Development Agency. I am also a member of the National Blockchain Policy Steering Committee. So, so how is NIDA encouraging the adoption of blockchain technology across various sectors? And uh, what are the main areas where you see blockchain making the most impact, important uh, impact in the near future? Like I mentioned in my presentation of the DG NIDA speech that is talking about uh, Malab Kashifu, Inua. NIDA has done a lot in the area of the development of blockchain in Nigeria. Number one, we've been able to create lots and lots of public awareness, you know, on the social media, on traditional media, and in events, you know, such as this. Mm. Additionally, uh, like I mentioned in my presentation, in 2022, mm. NIDA did a program on uh, ensuring that we provide scholarships to about 30,000 Nigerians. Of course, we targeted 30,000, but eventually, by the time we're done with the training, we trained over 32,000 Nigerians on blockchain development, blockchain implementation, and blockchain adoption. So thirdly, we've also been able to collaborate with the uh, Federal Ministry of uh, Information, Communication, and Digital Economy mm. in the development of the National Blockchain Policy, which was launched sometimes in uh, May 16, 2023. And the purpose of the National Blockchain Policy is to help drive the growth of blockchain as a tool for social economic development and transformation. So if you look at the national blockchain policy, there are three overarching focus areas. You know, you have the talent development, you have innovation, and you have blockchain adoption. Innovation just deals with uh, having strategies to help with innovative blockchain solutions being created. Talent development just talks about, you know, strategy to help ensure that we're building talent required to power the local blockchain industry. Then adoption you know, has to do with having strategies to ensure that we can create more use cases for sectorial application. Because when it comes to any technology being successful, you need to also focus on the use cases. And we are doing that with blockchain adoption. So use cases in sectors you know, such as land management, in the financial sector, the health sector, educational sector, and as what we And we've achieved so many successes you know, with this uh, uh, national blockchain as a plan. You know, like I mentioned in my presentation, one of the very first thing we did to bring stakeholders together, I think we brought about over 300 uh, Nigerians within the blockchain industry. You know, when we had uh, you know, the very first ever blockchain dialogue in, I think, in May 10, yes, May 10, 2023, you know, where we brought about 300 more you know, participants, you know, from different uh, sectors. You know, of course, we have majority of them from the blockchain industry, and they were able to contribute to the development of an implementation strategy for the national blockchain policy. So in a nutshell, you know, those are some of the very prominent things we've done as far as blockchain development is concerned in Nigeria. Okay, sir. So the last one, how do you see uh, events like the blockchain event of today impacting the uh, growth of blockchain? No, no, no. Um, I think Business Day, you know, has really done a very good work on me. In fact, I was surprised, you know, when we saw the invitation, that, ah, what is Business Day is concerned with uh, uh, as a blockchain? But I'm really very impressed with, uh, you know, them convening this kind of conference because it will help in ensuring the necessary awareness as far as blockchain technology is concerned. It's also an opportunity to also discuss the extant problems, you know, with blockchain implementation and also blockchain adoption in Nigeria. It's also an opportunity for different players, you know, in the government sector, the private sector, academia, civil society, to also come together to see how blockchain as a technology can be used, you know, for the social economic you know, development of not only Nigeria, Africa. But when it comes to technology, Technology is about your ability mm. to use technology you know, for development, you know, either personal development, organizational development, country development, or continental development. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir.